In this video, we're going over everything there is to know about prestige and progression in Black Ops Cold War, because trust me, I know it can be really confusing. I tried to lay everything out that we know at launch as comprehensible as possible, so at the end of this video, you'll be comfortable enough to explain progression to someone that's new to the game. We'll be discussing military ranks, seasonal levels, and the prestige system, what changes come to that come season 1, and weapon prestige, which is in an interesting situation. Let's get started. Yo, what's going on everyone? My name's Sinister Skater. Welcome to the channel. Let's start off with military ranks and prestige at launch, otherwise known as preseason. Like every Call of Duty, there are initial levels for you to progress through and unlock weapons, perks, score streaks, and other gear for you to use in both multiplayer and zombies. These are known as military ranks in Black Ops Cold War. There are 55 of them and they can be leveled in either multiplayer or zombies, whichever is your preference. And once you unlock an item through the military ranks, you have it unlocked forever. Even when you prestige, you will never have to unlock something again as soon as you unlock it. It's a great change they made in Modern Warfare and I'm glad to see them carry that forward. As for prestige, once you reach level 55, you can level up one more time, and when you do, you will automatically rank up to prestige level 1, otherwise known as season level 1. And they also made it so that you can level up to prestige in the middle of a match. You don't have to back out or go into the barracks or anything to prestige, it's just all done automatically. Now, you're going to want to get used to the term season level. You get prestiges from season levels. You'll see why when we get into the season section of this video later on. We're just strictly going over what's available at launch right now. Unlike military ranks, season levels require the same amount of XP for every level. It's not 8,000 for one level, then 10,000 for another. It's the same for every single level. Uh, when you do reach prestige one, you get a prestige icon, a prestige sticker, and a prestige key. The prestige key can be used in the prestige shop that is coming in season one, and we will be talking about that again later in the seasonal section of this video. Preseason has a total of 100 season levels for you to progress through with a prestige earned at 50 levels. So again, once you rank up to season level one, you are prestige level one. Once you reach season level 50, you become prestige two. You unlock the prestige two icon, a sticker, a prestige key, and a shotgun blueprint. And when you reach season level 100, you get prestige three, the icon, the sticker, a prestige key, and likely another bonus reward that's hidden behind that shotgun. At that point, you will be hard capped at level 100 until season one begins. Last thing to note about preseason, there currently is a glitch that is displaying a different prestige level at the top right of the menu UI and in the after action report. In the November 20th patch notes, Treyarch has confirmed that the upper right number is the correct number and that the issue will be resolved in a coming update. So that wraps up everything you need to know about preseason. We still have weapon prestige to discuss for the rare lot of you that may have seen that in game and more prestige features to go over for season one but before we move on real quick if you're watching this you're probably grinding out some levels and if you are going to maximize your xp games you need to be comfy to perform your best that's why into the am a long-term supporter of this channel has asked me to share with you that they now carry super soft and breathable boxer briefs on top of all the other awesome clothes they got. Not only are these bad boys super comfortable, they're also moisture wicking and quick drying. So, you know, when you're in those sweaty skill-based matchmaking lobbies, you, you don't gotta worry about the sweat, you can just focus on the game. I mean, they're almost so comfortable that you can forget that you're wearing underwear. So give them a look, I'll have a link down below that will save you 10% off when you order through it. And if you do, it's a great way to help support the channel. Thanks into the AM, let's get back into prestige info. Let's talk about weapon prestige real quick. I initially thought it was going to be a thing in this game, but it appears maybe not. If you were one of the lucky week one players to max out a weapon, you may have noticed that there was an option when hovering over a weapon to prestige it. When you press that option, it would bring up a menu that says you can relock attachments in exchange for a clan tag on your weapon like we've seen in previous Black Ops games but there was no way to carry through with that weapon prestige. And as of the November 20th update, that option is now gone from the game. There's no trace of weapon prestige at all. 
Now, if you came to this video wondering about when Weapon Prestige would be available as I was, it's looking like maybe never. When I was drafting this video prior to today, I was thinking that Weapon Prestige could come in season one, maybe earlier, maybe later. But now I'm thinking it won't ever come. And it was probably some leftover code that they forgot to delete. I mean, it still could come. But now that I'm thinking about it, the changes made to progression in Modern Warfare and in this game were to stray away from relocking items items and redundantly leveling up and making progression more accessible to more players. Weapon Prestige goes against that ideology, especially with relocking attachments and resetting your level. So I doubt we'll see Weapon Prestige, and if we do, it'll likely be reworked so that attachments are relocked and it's more accessible. That brings us to the last topic, how prestige and progression will work moving past the preseason. If you haven't heard, at the start of season one, your level in Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare will be synced up and you can level up and earn prestige and battle pass XP in either of the two games that you wish. We're going to be staying focused on Black Ops Cold War in this video, but I will be making another video going over that new feature when it comes live in season one. Now, in season one, in every season after that, you will be reset to season level one. In each season, you will have 200 season levels to progress through and four prestigious to earn every 50 levels. So at level 50, 100, 150, and 200. You're getting the same rewards. You're getting the prestige, the prestige icon, the sticker, as well as the prestige key. And just so you know what to expect, Trek has let us know that there will be over 25 prestigious total when it comes to the end of Black Ops Cold War life cycle. Something new in Black Ops Cold War is the concept of Master Prestige. After season level 200, you can progress up to level 1000 each season for additional rewards. For every 50 levels, you will be earning a reward. They've confirmed that you will get prestige keys for every 50 and will likely see blueprints and some other rewards. And then at the end of the season, regardless if you're at level 50, 200, 1000, whatever it is, you will be reset to level one, and then you'll have another 1000 levels that you could grind out in the next season. So there will be a cap of 1,000 season levels for every season, which is still challenging for even the most hardcore players. And if you're more of a casual player or are getting this game later on, you will be able to catch up on prestiges. So let's say you pick up the game around season two. Once you grind your military ranks and hit prestige one, you can grind out all those season levels and get the corresponding prestiges for it. So that first 50 will give you prestige two. And if you grind up another 500 levels from there, you'll be prestige 11 by the end of that season. I'm really curious to see if that is going to be incorporated for like battle pass rewards and other things like that because that'd be actually really cool to see. We'll see. On top of all that, each season will also have 40 challenges for you to complete outside of seasonal levels. There are going to be 20 for multiplayer, 20 for zombies, and there will reward you calling cards. Now, if you played Modern Warfare, you can think of these as officer rank challenges. I think this would be a great addition to the game and give you more stuff to do as long as these calling cards are pretty cool and unique looking. We'll have to see if we're getting 40 every single season. The last thing to go over in this video that I mentioned up top is the prestige keys and the prestige shop. So come season one, the prestige shop will be introduced into the game. And this is a place where you can use your prestige keys to unlock exclusive rewards that you can get nowhere else in the game. You won't be able to buy these. You won't be able to. Uh, you, the only way you can get these is with prestige keys and actually prestiging. I hope that the rewards in this shop are enticing enough and give you reason to grind an entire season. We could be seeing uh, anime prestige icons here certain weapon camos maybe they'll let you unlock rewards from previous battle passes if you missed out we'll, we'll have to wait and see but that is what the prestige shop is and it is not available at the launch of black ops cold war again this is coming in season one so that's everything we know right now laid out in the simplest terms i am planning on making one or more videos when season one rolls around to take an even closer look at the prestige shop and anything new we may see when the progression system is fully live so subscribe and turn on that bell notification because you won't want to miss those when they come out i mean we're less than three weeks away from season one at the time of this video being uploaded if you're looking for something else to watch um do you, do you know how to activate double xp in call of duty black ops cold war if you don't i did a whole video covering how double xp works maybe you want to check out some gold camo
up to you. Either way, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did or learned something new, hit that like button. Again, check out some of my other content and consider subscribing because we're talking all Call of Duty on this channel. If you'd like to help support the channel, there are links down below in the description for you to check out. Uh, again, thanks for watching. My name is Sinister Skater, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.